Lagos is a city of over 21 million people. We simply cannot afford an Ebola outbreak in Lagos. There aren't many things more in the public good than preventing a possible Ebola outbreak. The movie that tells the real story about the most dreaded disease in the history of Nigeria is getting great attention from all angles. The latest was Religious Circle, where one of the most respected clergymen, Pastor Paul Adefarasi, hosted the official and star-studded premiere of 93 Days in Lagos. 93 Days has been receiving serious commendation from home and abroad since release to cinema September 16, 2016. It is now time for us to do the job that we are here to do. We can do this. I know what Ebola can do. Trust me, nothing terrifies me more. The importance of sending this great message, not only of Nigeria's survival mode or Nigeria's survival strategy for Ebola, but also the importance of how great the Nollywood movie industry has become. So we're very delighted to see the quality of the product that we brought from Nigeria. And also, um, we were particularly impressed by the fact that we were talking about public health in movie form and we were able to connect with people and also celebrate what Nigeria had done. I've been here to see uh, a few other in Selma. Uh, I also saw um, another one here and they've been fantastic films. I don't expect anything less in this production. It's an overdue collaboration because um, uh, when, when, when we talk about the church, as far as I'm concerned, the church is a reformation center. Everybody's scared here. People are scared. Is this what you want? Is this what you are willing to allow to happen in this city? It's really nice. It's a, it's a good collaborative uh, move. Uh, Nollywood and Hollywood, right? And uh, I think uh, it will really go a long way. Why we embrace the movie was not only because of the power of their art and the power of their acting and the science of their production and direction, but also we recognize that the movie industry has a powerful opportunity to shape culture around the world and to shape national values. And they do so in perhaps a more powerful way than the pulpit can. So we wanted to embrace that sector and engage them in supporting their every endeavor. It's a great victory for Nigeria as a country to be able to contain Ebola and make Nigeria Ebola free. So I think um, in every aspect of governance and government and public affairs, church should be involved. And it's like create an awareness as to what we have come, how far we have come in terms of our health. From international audiences, the reaction has been overwhelmingly positive. And from Nigerian audiences, Abroad, the international, the reaction has been, you know, awesome. Most of us live our lives without ever really understanding how connected we are. Stay back, stay back. But then one day, something happens.